found out I was in South Shore, suddenly like the secret society on the Book of Face reached out to me. It was like, oh, you live here, so come to this thing and come join this thing. And I felt very enveloped. That is the perfect way to describe it. It is like, it's a hidden gem of like these brilliant secret society members. Oh, for sure. So I'm here with Yvette, she is a community builder and I'm at the Quarry, which is an event center here in South Shore. Yvette, this is a beautiful space. Thank you, I'm very proud of it. Uh, actually, I was a volunteer here and now our nonprofit formed a social enterprise, which I run mm -hmm. here at the, at the Quarry and we own the Quarry. I love South Shore, but the, what you could find if you Google it was not very positive. And so I decided to become an activist in the community because somebody has to care enough to not just sit around and say, just, 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 that's a shame, what's going on in South Shore. The only way you, and we have a fear about gentrification, that our city is changing in a way that will push out people that are lower income and of, are of color. And so the only way to fight that is to buy something buy something to inject our culture, to inject our love, to inject our appreciation, and to en embrace those people who have been less fortunate, who don't have the benefit of private education, et cetera, or inheritance. Uh, and so we have to teach them and love them and show them that there's something else here available for them. And that's why we started doing the magazine, uh, The South Shore Current. And The South Shore Current is the only black-owned monthly magazine mm -hmm. in the city and then we launched the West of the Ryan. But if we don't talk about it and tell people there's a whole new generation of young parents and young children who are not being exposed to it. Uh, one of our hashtags is Rocks to Dine. So that's uh, exactly what the magazine has done as well. When you don't think anything is here, when you don't think, when you think things are dead or dying, or that there's nothing but something being killed every day, we say there's life every day, there's love every day, there's community every day. It may not look like what you see on TV, uh, but this is love, this is community, this is possibility. It's art, it's culture, it's music, it's joy. And that's what we come to bring. We have the people who have run Navy Pier, run DuSable Museum, run city agencies, and doctors, lawyers, you know, and the most desperate people that you've ever met in your life all right here. All together. Except right here in, in South Shore. I've never been in a neighborhood where I've had so many people know each other and come up to me and say, but gee, you've got to talk to this person, you've got to talk to this person. You've got to. I was like, oh my goodness, I can do a whole series. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like everybody is so invested in each other mm -hmm. and there's so many people doing good. The people that are available during the day are serious activists. We are seriously looking for ways to work and spend in our community. So we wanna know, we're hungry to know yeah. so that we can share about other people's victories and have people come in and support them. So down the street from the quarry on 75th at 2524 is one of the oldest businesses in South Shore. It is Sullivan's Fashions and it's run by a husband and wife team. My name is Everett and that's my wife Naomi. We've owned this shop for 49 years. What's so great about this shop, tell us. Well, we enjoy the work, we enjoy the people, and that's the most important thing. Uh, and the service that we give keeps them coming back. What do you hope for the future for South Shore? Well, I hope to see other people come in and uh, open up business. Uh, at the present time, it seems like people are not opening business anymore like they used to over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, Back in 69, when we first went into the business, everybody was opening a business, but now it's a little quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Miss Naomi, what do you love about your husband? Everything. <laughs> <laughs>
some people's backyards is the, the lake. Like, it's just beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite neighborhoods. I mean, I feel like it's like a hidden gem in the sense that, wow, there's beautiful architecture. The architecture, the apartments, the size, the, the, the vintage where it meets the modern. It's, it really is a beautiful neighborhood. <laughs> I, I've, I've shown a lot of homes in this neighborhood and I, I see the potential. There are homes that are like mansions. You can get downtown in 15 minutes. You know, I don't think most people know that. With Lakeshore Drive being right there, it's, it's very easy access to be downtown in a few minutes wherever else you want to hang out or you can just hang out right here at the lake and have a great family picnic. Like that's what we usually do every 4th of July, my family and I. We get together, you know, lots of food. And the funny thing is, year after year, we would see the same families, you know, so it really got to be, you know, like not just culture, it, you really felt a sense of community. Well, the Culture Center provides a venue for graduations, weddings, um, the president, reception, the right? reception. I mean, yeah, the president obviously um, was married here. Barack and um, Michelle Obama and Michelle's the from here. <laughs> the kids, the kids, the kids. They have a uh, summer camp here. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of kids come here every summer to learn arts and crafts, dance, music, um, and golf, obviously. So um, the culture center, being a historic place, um, again, as I said, rich in culture, um, provides a venue for people that can utilize the space. It's open to the public. People can walk up and, and, and play. If there's available tee times, you can call in and schedule a tee time. Um, you have several leagues, um, golf leagues, men and women golf leagues that play here. People are coming out after six o'clock, playing a few holes. Where else can you go and see butterflies? Did you hear that bird? Seabirds and dragonflies. It is absolutely gorgeous here. This is the South Shore Sanctuary. And just like this, South Shore is truly a hidden gem for the city of Chicago. Um, I have never felt so much love for a neighborhood from the people that live in it than I have from the people that I've met on my visit. They have welcomed me with open arms and I'm truly grateful and honored that they allowed me to showcase some of the beauty that they have in this neighborhood. Um, I'll see you next time on The Grid. I really hope you make it to South Shore. Right now, it's time to watch the sunset. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on The Grid.